One thing is for sure is that we cannot continue to shop the way, you know, if your income has changed or if your income is not meeting um, the uh, standards, um, what do you call it? Uh, you know, the standards of, uh, what do you call that? Uh, boy, let me see here. The um, cost of living standards, you know, uh, across the your state or your county or or whatever, if they're not meeting, um, you know, then you have to do something, which means you can't continue to live the same way, meaning that you there's certain, uh, you have to cut back. There are certain things you cannot purchase anymore. You know, there are certain things you cannot do any longer. So, you know, let's make these changes because a lot of people are here they're complaining, talking about high prices of things and, uh, you know, just saying they can't afford certain things. But it's like some things, they're not even essentials. Let's deal with the essential things first. Let's get food. And when getting food, let's be sure that we're getting, you know, you know, purchasing food at a lower price. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, if you if you used to buy one brand that's nine dollars but there's another brand that's seven dollars you know especially if you know if they're basically you can't tell the difference just get the seven dollar one then there are also especially since the the uh our, our recent pandemic situation so many uh food banks food pantries there's so many uh, groups, you know, like Facebook and other places, neighborhood groups that just give free food just randomly, you know, when I say randomly, it's, you know, some is random, but some have, you know, set times and days that they're giving away food. They're, I mean, good food, like, you know, good proteins, meats, eggs, vegetables, milks, uh, grains, you know, rice, oats, and, you know, quinoa, you know, just different, different things and enjoyable snacks. So these are ways to supplement your income, you know, and I don't, ag don't agree with, you know, especially some, cause I was just seeing, I just saw something. What was that? Uh, Oh, somebody's saying that how they work long hours, so they have to, so because they work long hours, they do this, you know, something to, you know, some kind of food prep, uh, something is what they were saying. But I'm thinking, why are you working these very long hours? You know, people, you know, <laughs> my sister and I, we were just talking about things like this and it's no disrespect to anybody, but you got to use wisdom, you know, so what? we can do the work of a man and or do long hours but is it profitable is it wise for us to you to take you know to work long long hours especially if you're a parent you know so what you have a a, a spouse at home so what even even if you have house help you know some but you, it's you that gave birth to the child it's you you know that should be raising the child you know what I'm saying? I, it, you know, basically, you know, you know what I mean? That's just really the, the crux of the matter. You know, uh, it, you don't have to do long hours and you, you what, because it's not just the child and you, uh, and how the child is being reared, et cetera, et cetera. But it's also your health. That's stressful. That is a that's very stressful because it's like everything is on your shoulders, because I know that in this um, life, there are a lot of, you know, it seems uneven or unequal because there are some husbands that don't make as much as their wives. So the woman feels like she's got to make up make up for what? Make up for what? Because you you're trying to because you are trying to. Uh, keep up with Joneses, number one, and or you see people, you your your friends and people. You're worried about what society and what your friends and people are saying about you and your husband. You know, who cares about what they're talking about? You know, because you you should be at home. 
You don't need to be out there all day, all night working, um, you know, double shifts and all of this to do what? To do what exactly? Cause it, I know what what take how much it take to raise a family, and and have you know what I mean comfortably. You know, I know what it takes, and it does not take all that. You you people are trying to do so many extra extra things, and you're suffering for it. So many uh, women are having so many health health issues, health problems, and unfortunately passing away at young ages and and whatnot. And now look. You you're not even there to to be with the, the the child or the children or the family, you know. Uh, so you know, let's be let's use wisdom, you know. It, it, you know, don't try to compete with man. Nobody nobody asks you to compete with a man. And if your husband is making ten dollars and you making fourteen, you know, so be it. <laughs> Who cares? That's you guys' business. You can meet up. Your, your husband can make it on his own to bring in the, all of the bacon, you know, because that's, you know, remember, the, I can bring home the bacon <laughs> fried up in the pan and never, never let you forget that you're the man because I'm a woman, you know, all of that. You know, all of this, I don't want to say the F word that starts with F-E-M. You know, I don't want to say that or uh, LW, you know, uh, the, all of these different groups that have turned women upside down and not made us forget our place. There's no more femininity. There's no more modesty. There's no motherhood, the proper mother, motherhood, you know, parenthood, you know, people, women can't rest. They all out here stressing themselves out, working hard, and and like a trying to be a man. You you know what? We're not meant for that. The Bible says that we are the weaker weaker vessel for a reason. You know, with you know there are meanings within that, but we're you're not supposed to be doing all of that. You don't have to. We can do it, but you don't have to do that. So it's unnecessary for you to do that so you know go home sit down put your feet up for a little while rest rest in a bubble bath with some epsom salt or something you know get up you get up in the morning and and refresh yourself and 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 make you make a nice breakfast for the family or something some fermented oatmeal and some fruit and some delicious waffles or pancakes or toast or some grits or you know make some you know go on home and and be a woman it's so much re, it's so much more relaxing and 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 whatnot and don't feel like uh he don't he don't he don't meet up he don't add up or whatever you married him so what you you now you stuck with him <laughs> if you know if that's what it is but you have to know how to love and you, first of all use wisdom but know how to love you know and and help your husband if he not you know if he feels some kind of way now he not motivated to whatever and and it could just be his personality with things that you already knew beforehand but you you know how you guys are or oh, excuse me we oh we going to change him we're gonna make him different, or no? You're not. We're not here to make. We're not here to bring change to, you know, change people. You you have to accept them for who they are and the way they are. They they. I mean, you know, we can motivate them to do other, maybe to do something if they're not motivated or something like that. But the person is who they're who they are. You know. Now, I'm not talking about abusive or something like that or some kind of person like that. That's somebody to get away from. But if he's just a person, some people are just laid, men especially, are just not, they're laid back. But not that they don't work or they don't bring home, uh, you know, they don't provide for the family. They do. But you are not satisfied because you're looking at Susie May and what her husband is doing and what their family is doing. Don't worry about what that you worry about what's in. Keep your eyes on your prize. 
Okay, that's our problem. We we take our eyes off. Just look what happened to Peter. Look what happened to Peter. He took his eyes off of Jesus. And what happened? You know, so put your eyes back on Jesus. Put your eyes back on Jesus. Put your eyes and your focus back on your family. You know, and and create an, uh, a, a nice, loving home for you and your family. Don't worry about what these people are doing because you really don't know what's going on behind their closed doors. People think that people got to, you don't know how, you know, you don't know what's going on with these people. You don't know it's how they argue and fight, how they're depressed, how they are stealing to get what they got. You don't know how, you don't know anything about that behind the closed doors. You just see the dressed up perfume and the, and the hair, nails and, 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 and makeup uh, and all of that. You, that's what you see. Be, what they show is what they show you is what you see. But you don't really know what goes on behind their closed doors. You take care of you and yours. Don't try to be, be somebody else. What's wrong with people that they want to be like, be everybody else? And God has made you a whole perfect human being. And you want to be somebody else. Come on now. Anyway, let me get off of here because this really annoys me when people do this. Because you ruin whole families. Then you get divorced. Then you start up a whole new family. You start up a whole new family. Then it's more, just more, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, whatever. What's it called? Um, what is this called? Just more dysfunction. You know. And because that's all it is, because you never get healed, you never, you know, you you never get healed, you never get delivered from what you, you never change, you just, you go right into a whole nother relationship the same way you are, which is creating just more chaos, more confusion, and more uh, dysfunction. <laughs> you 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 angry now, you angry at at him. And and he and he you know he in a new relationship you angry at him and, and his the person he in the relationship with for what you moved on you know what what is all of this about you know but more hate and then you start talking about him and her to the children you know and you know it's just a whole nother uh, becomes a whole nother thing and I see this so so much and it's so so terrible and I'll be praying like Lord how do we come out of something like this you know but it's but, but the way to come out of it is through him through humility and cutting that flesh killing excuse me killing that flesh of ours you know killing that flesh of ours and 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 becoming and and, and uh, humbling our ourselves and repenting of all of this because it's a mess. It's so tangled and it. Uh, oh, oh, I don't know why somebody don't have bleeding ulcers because <laughs> just thinking about it would give me. Yes, yes, it's something else. It is something else. So anyway, husband. Love your wives. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, guys, I love you very much. Hopefully something was said that would encourage us and lead us back to Christ Jesus and lead us out of ourselves and lead us to humility, to humble ourselves before God. Uh and and before man as well, you know, but before God so that we can live righteous uh, lives and that uh, there will be more peace uh, in our homes, you know, and for our children and for our families uh, and whatnot. Um, so anyway, love you so much. Bye-bye for now.